All right, still to come, it's Wellness Wednesday. We're talking about what you should and shouldn't eat and how to work exercise into your day next. Welcome back at 623. The new year is right around the corner and there will be a lot of resolutions to lose weight. Dr. Jovan Baker is here from Baptist Health Family Clinic in Conway with some helpful tips. Good morning, Dr. Baker. Good morning, Ryan. So what is the easiest thing we can do to lose weight? The easiest thing, I don't know if there's any easy things. Okay. It depends on everybody, but you know, as far as weight loss goes, it's always going to be diet and exercise. Okay. Exercise, if you're just starting out, go ahead and go for a brisk walk for 30 minutes a day, five days a week. It's important, don't go more than two consecutive days without doing any physical activity because it's all about momentum, right? And then, um, of course, so the little things do add up. Okay. So just start taking the stairs and choose the farthest parking space. That way you can walk those calories off. And speaking of calories, um, as far as diet goes, you want to avoid high calorie processed foods like fast foods and then of course those sugary sweet drinks that we all love. Um, also, you want to start, you know, tracking your calories by looking at nutritional labels. Okay. And the easy, I think this is the easiest thing, is just eat smaller portions. So when I go out to dinner, as soon as my food comes, I cut everything in half, pack it away in a to-go box, and save it for the next day. Mm, that's a that's a great yeah. idea. But what yeah. if you're still hungry afterwards? Well, drink lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you'll you'll train your stomach okay. and your mind. So <laughs> when should someone see a doctor for weight loss? So yes, if you've tried to lose weight on your own and you've been unsuccessful, then go ahead and see a doctor because at that point, we would rule out any possible medical conditions that could be causing your weight gain, like heart failure or even thyroid disorders. But now if that's not the case, then we would collaborate with a dietitian and come up with an exercise and a nutritional program specifically for you. So there's been a lot of talk lately about Wegovy and Ozempic. Yes. A popular weight loss drugs. Mm -hmm. uh, should we take those? Should we talk to our doctor first? What are your thoughts on that? Yes, so those are the popular, there's a lot of weight loss medications and the diabetes medications right now, like Ozempic, like you mentioned, and um, ZepBound is the newest weight loss medication. Mm. Now these are once a week injections, and yes, they work very, very well. Um, however, for these quick fixes, it's important to note that, you know, there are some possible side effects. So some like GI upset, nausea, diarrhea, and some of them can have even caused um, thyroid tumors in lab rats. So this is, you know, it's always important to discuss the risks and the benefits with your doctor. All right, Dr. Baker, happy holidays and thank oh, you so much for your expert you. advice. You're welcome. So if you would like to contact Dr. Baker, you can do so by heading over to baptisthealth-.com or calling the Baptist Health line at 188-BAPTIST.